Marina Pet. I love you very much. Will you marry? Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are here for part five, the final part of my Bachelor in Paradise spoilers series here on YouTube. So if you are new to my channel and new to the series, be sure to check out my past videos and my channel by subscribing down below to Zachary Reality. Welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today, we are really going to spill some tea. Paradise has wrapped filming. They were filming it the past two to three weeks in Mexico, and they wrapped filming last weekend. And it seems like we have two to three couples that possibly got engaged. So I did get a lot of tea about what went down in Paradise. I'm going to be sharing some of it with you guys, debunking some things, kind of getting into what I've heard about how it's going to go, and then we'll see what happens on TV. Because disclaimer, spoilers are always spoilers, but sometimes things turn out different on TV. You know, there's edits, there's confessionals. You just never know what could happen. So definitely take everything with a grain of salt, but these are things I'm hearing straight from the source. And these are from my sources, just to clarify. I know I don't have to clarify that for my loyal listeners, but these are all my sources, all my spoilers. They come straight from me, you know, straight to me from my DMs, from texts, from calls, from emails. Um, no emails. I don't really do that. But so let's kind of get into Bachelor in Paradise and how everything turned out because I'm sure everyone has seen a lot of spoilers online, on my TikTok, wherever. Now, I do want to kind of start off by saying there was something weird with Romeo and Kira. I don't know what exactly went down, but apparently they filmed some sort of scene or Kira films a scene by herself in the smush room. What did they call it? Remember when Riley and Marissa went to the boom boom room? Yeah. So Kira may have filmed a scene in the boom boom room and I guess Romeo ended up like leaving the beach and then coming back and taking her with him. I don't know if they're dating in real life. They're definitely hanging out Romeo and Kira. I think a few people have even like been saying that like in the rumblings of Bachelor Nation, like online and stuff. I don't think they're gonna like get married one day. I think they're probably just like friends who are like maybe hooking up, but they definitely leave the show together. And I know Jill was somewhat involved with Romeo at some point during the show or before the show. So that might get a little tricky. I think Jill is gonna be involved in a little bit of drama this season. Sarah, who is one of my faves, she unfortunately had to leave Paradise because her grandmother passed away during filming, which is so, so sad. I hate to deliver the news about that. So prayers are with Sarah and her entire family. She actually found out on camera, one of the producers told her, so I think it's gonna be like a thing on the show where she gets pulled away, and I know she was dating one of the newer guys from Gabby and Rachel's season, and then like Kate took that guy away from her, or like asked one of the guys on the date that Sarah was dating, so it might get a little tricky. I'm sure we've heard about Kate. You know, she is from the Oppenheim group, Selling Sunset. She came to Paradise to play. She definitely is gonna be getting a villain edit this upcoming season. I think she got into a little bit of a tip with Shanae as well, who is going to be the Bachelorette of Paradise. Shanae is, apparently went on four dates with four different guys. She ended up leaving the show single. She ended up not being with anyone, but she's going to be there the whole time up until, you know, however many episodes there are. Shanae is going to be a huge factor this season. It's going to be like the Shanae show part two, but I don't think they'll give Shanae as bad of an edit as they did the first season. I think she'll get a little bit of a redemption arc. Maybe she'll get a little Demi edit in Paradise. Like, maybe she'll make us laugh. I do think she's going to still, like, be involved in drama and stuff. I don't think they're gonna give her a horrible edit, you know, again. And as far as, um, um, Kate, I mean, she definitely left the show single as well. And, you know, Kate, I think she really just wanted to make her moment. We saw what happened on The Women Tell All when she was very quick to throw girls under the bus, you know, when she was eliminated early. So I definitely think that Kate wanted her camera time, and I think she wanted to play and enjoy, you know, being on Paradise. So I think that's gonna come into play this season. I like Kate. I've met her before. She's great. But I don't know how it's gonna turn out for her on the show. Now, as far as some of the fan favorites, a little shocking to hear that Andrew S., Rick, Olu, Justin, and Rodney all ended up leaving the show single. This is kind of shocking. Um, you know, I don't know this whole new twist thing with, like, the Casa Amor vibe where they're, like, separating the guys and girls. It seems a little confusing. I don't even know how that's gonna shake out or play out, but I feel like that definitely affected why some of these relationships maybe didn't work out. You know, I heard that Rick and Olu didn't get a fair shot to, like, meet all the girls and that a Eliza, you know, wanted to give her rose to Olu, but then she was, like, forced to give it to Rodney. His producers obviously wanted Rodney to get, you know, as far as possible since he was so loved 
lovable on Michelle's season. And then, I mean, Justin, I really feel like could have been with Sally if the producers didn't end up messing with Sally and screwing her over. I feel like Justin and Sally could have made it to the end and could have been a thing. So that's kind of upsetting. Um, as far as the final couples, because let's just kind of get into the final couples. I have one, two, three, four, five couples here. I'm reading off my notes right now, um, which I've just kind of gathered from my recent text chains. The five couples, I guess, in the end were a Aaron and Genevieve, who definitely broke up. You know, Aaron actually was back on social media a few days before the finale of Paradise, which was supposed to be filmed on the Friday. Aaron was back on social on like Wednesday. So him and Genevieve did end up breaking up. I don't know exactly what happened there. If I had to guess, um, I would say that Aaron was the one who broke up with Genevieve at the end. I think it could have been, it could be like a Noah and Abigail situation where maybe they'll date in the real world. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen. You know, Aaron was in San Diego this weekend. A lot of people saw him at the beach um, and I'll just leave that there. Um, but yeah, I, I would assume that Aaron broke up with Genevieve at the end, which is frustrating because I was really shipping them and rooting for them as a couple. Maybe I will change my mind after I watch the show and the edit. I really hope that Aaron didn't like string her along or use her to be on TV again. Uh, that would really make me sad, Aaron. I you guys know I love Aaron and I love James, um, but I really hope that wasn't the case because I do like Genevieve a lot too. So I don't know what went down between the two of them. I, I believe they broke up. I believe he was the one that dumped her, but I don't know. Um, and as far as the final four couples, now Michael and Danielle, they apparently did not end up getting engaged. You know, Michael made it very clear that he, you know, would want to get engaged to someone who's met his son. There's a little bit more riding on it because he is a single dad and him and Danielle are older than all the other couples. It's, you know, very possible that the two of them are still dating. It's possible that they maybe were forced to break up like Noah and Abigail were last summer or Thomas and Becca. Um, it's possible that Michael and Danielle are still dating. They do follow each other on Instagram. Um, there was a little bit of drama with this because a lot of people thought that they were following each other before Paradise. And then a lot of people like myself, you know, thought maybe they were following each other when they got home from the beach. So a little unsure what's going on with the timeline between the two of them. Like if they knew each other, were they, if they were following each other before the show, does that mean they were talking before the show? Does that mean they had a pre-alliance? I mean, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I think the show at this point, I think the show is like 65% fake. Um, and like everything is just feels really produced. Even the contestants are just like producing themselves. Um, that's just my opinion. And my take is that this show is 65% fake. And then like, I think like the majority of reality shows are pretty fake too. Not like all of them. And when I mean by fake, I just mean like really produced and like planned and like a little bit more scheduled. It's not like there's a script or anything. Um, So I think a lot of contestants, you know, were talking before um, the show. So if Michael A. and Danielle were, I mean, who cares? Like literally it's a TV show. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I definitely used to watch the show as like a viewer and be like, wow, everything's so real. And it's like, now I can never look at this show or any reality show the same. So I believe Michael A. and Michael A. and Danielle broke up. Um, but they could still be dating. Who knows? I hope they're dating. If they're happy together and they seem great, then cool. Um, the couples that apparently got engaged are Victoria F. and Johnny. Uh, Victoria made her return to social media. Brandon and Serene. And Brittany, Galvin, and Tyler from Gabby and Rabby and Rachel season. Now, those were the three couples I were told got engaged. Um, who knows exactly what went down? It's very possible that um, one of these couples maybe just like left the show together but didn't actually get the ring. And it seems like it's going to be a crazy season. I've heard a lot about it. I've heard it's going to be insane. I've heard it's going to be a mess. The new twist, all of the self eliminations, um, all of the drama. So we'll see what exactly happens. Like I said, take everything with a grain of salt. You know, everyone in Bachelor Nation gossips behind the scenes. So I'm excited for Paradise. It's going to be coming back to ABC on September 27th. This is the last video I'm going to make on Bachelor in Paradise spoilers. When it gets closer to the season, I will, you know, probably do more and like make sure I know exactly everything that's going on if that's what I choose to do. Um, you know, here on my YouTube, you know, you guys were warned, you guys were aware that this was going to be a spoiler video from the beginning when you clicked it. So of course, if you made it to the end, you wanted to know. But on my Instagram, on my Twitter, and on my TikTok, I'm going to, you know, I'll always do warnings and I'll always kind of keep things a little bit vague so I don't give the whole show away. I mean, even all of the information I have, you know, I could have easily easily asked follow-up questions to the people that gave me this information. I could have easily been like, well, what happened? What happened? I need to know every detail. I don't want to do that. I don't want to know every detail of the show. You know, I want to know the generalness of what's going on and that's it. So I can tell you guys, give you guys some updates and stuff. We don't need to know every single detail happening in Paradise because that will ruin the show. And I don't want to ruin the show for myself or you guys completely. So this is a little bit of a generalization of what's going on. I hope you enjoyed the five part YouTube series of Paradise on my channel. We will be back on my channel talking Bachelorette in the next 
next week. Um, Gabby and Rachel's season premieres July 11th, so I'm super excited to see how that turns out. I hope we get double engagements at the end, but we'll talk about Rachel and Gabby in another video. Please comment down below if you guys made it to the end of this video. Let me know that you're listening, that you're watching. Show some support and love in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell before you head out of here. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Bye!